public art. It's commissioned, it's created, it's displayed, and sometimes it completely disappears. Where does it go? It's art that's paid for, usually with public money, your money, that sometimes goes missing. And maybe you've wondered about whether this is right. Well, Peter Racy is a man on a mission to bring back the lost art of Brisbane. He's developing art trails across the city that put sculptures and statues back on public display. And Peter, you've had a bit of a win recently. What can you tell me? Well, Catherine, I, I must admit that um, the great planet, uh, one of two female uh, sculptors from Expo 88, uh, the sculpture itself has uh, been in storage for the last 12 years. It was a piece that was made to be uh, displayed outside. It was an incredibly important bit of art at Expo 88. It was on display at the uh, Queensland uh, Art Gallery for many years outside, uh, but it suffered the slings and arrows of being outside. And a couple of weeks ago, you and I spoke about it, uh, and we gave the Minister from South Brisbane, Jackie Trout, a little bit of a carry up. But I'm happy to say, She's come to the party. She's obviously had a word in the right ears because now that beautiful piece is on display um, at uh, the Queensland Art Gallery. It's a centrepiece of a new um, exhibition called Geometrics. It is, I had forgotten just how beautiful the sculpture was. And it is stunning, absolutely stunning. And has now gone back up on public display. So now, of course, my mission is to try and get it up permanently because yesterday it was put into the World Expo 88 Art Trail. So now we have 25 uh, pieces in the World Expo 88 Art Trail. People should Google that. But I can tell you next week, it's going to be 28. Okay. Because there are three that are right now in the process of being finalized. The skater, <laughs> right? The, well. the Be Prepared uh, Saluting Scout and the uh, man and his mate, which has been on display at the RNA, which is another really great story, which I hope we can get to. Um, and they are all within milliseconds away from being uh, complete. But can I just truly say, and a very sincere thank you to, to the treasurer, Jackie Trad. Thank you so much for, for, for putting that artwork. I know you had a word in people's ear. I know you were behind the scenes. And it is so great to see that piece of artwork come up. It is stunning. It is beautiful. It's Australian made, Australian designed, a beautiful female um, artist who's now deceased, uh, Ingrid King. And it is just a wonderful piece. It's great to see it back up on display. Out of storage, on public display, yep. The Great Planet at the Queensland Art Gallery. The quest for you, Peter, is to get that uh, as part of a permanent display. It's, it's on yes. the Expo 88 Art Trail, which people yep. can look up, um, which you're going to add to. Now, these are the Art Busters statues. Yes. You, if you were in Brisbane during Expo, you will know exactly what Pete's talking about. They're the white statues of people, the casts of people. Some of them have been squirreled away in storage sheds around the strait. Other, other, other pieces have been displayed, but maybe in a place where it was off the map and you're bringing it all together to keep that expo memory alive. And they have gone through a rebirth. So now they're recast in bronze and the maintenance costs of putting them back up on display as white statues uh, has meant that they are now in bronze, the latest um, new additions. But they look fantastic. They look fantastic. Uh, look at it, you know the detail within them is now just screaming out. I didn't realise just how much detail was lost when they were coat, you know painted in white. Um, so no, there was just fantastic. But coming back to my other story in relation to um, another little bit of Expo 88 history, 3,770 square metres of building which is at the RNA showgrounds, which. Um, it was a suggestion I made when I did the broadcast uh, a couple of weeks ago for that to be relocated out to Longreach for a scuba diving training centre to go underneath that Expo 88 place. That has just taken off absolutely incredibly. Dive, dive, dive from Wakeley have sent me a 20 page email, believe it or not, on all the different diving techniques and whatever else you can do within that scuba tank at Longreach. 
the oh, food tank, it. which is at the RNA at the moment, was part of Expo. The roof is at RNA. My madcap idea is to put a scuba dive training facility underneath the 3,770 square metre roof space. Okay, well, if you get that happening, that's certainly a story. Peter Racy, wonderful to catch up with you. Good on you for keeping uh, up the fight to restore some of the public art that is a part of our public memory, our shared collective memory of space in this city. Pete Racy, great to catch up with you. Thank you so much. ABC Radio Brisbane is where you find yourself. And if you're interested on taking a walk around one of Pete's art trails, just look for the Brisbane Art History Walking Trails and your search engine of choice. You are on ABC. I've sown the seed to the ex to the Longreach Regional Council, but that beautiful big structure in the background uh, should be relocated up to Longreach to go with the uh, drovers.